You know, the system's only been out for about a year, but it's already been quite a ride for Nintendo 3DS owners. There was the rough start, the turnaround, high highs, low lows, but frankly, I'm not sure any of it was unexpected. I mean, you could see most of those things coming, so both the bad and the good were, for the most part, predictable. Unfortunately, this game bucks the trend. In fact, you can file this one as one of the first real 3DS disappointments. That is to say, a game that legitimately looked promising and failed to deliver. Like others who took to its style and premise, I wanted to love Shifting World, but kind of like the game itself, we're just on two different planes. Released last month, Shifting Worlds is a very stylish puzzle platformer based on a series of Flash games, the title of which is Shift, and when you consider the premise, that makes a lot of sense. You have to get to the exit, and to do so, you're going to have some pretty serious shifting to do, specifically of the dimensional variety. So it works like this, the game is entirely black and white, and in addition to being a great style choice, it's also functional. You switch between which of those colors represent the solid ground, and therein lies the gimmick. Move between the two colors to traverse complex levels, and get the hell out of there. So, uh, so what's the problem, right? It sounds awesome, it looks awesome, well, here's the problem. Doing all those things is a bit less fun when the game makes itself harder to play, and item number one on the shifting world sh list is those awesome elaborate levels. They're actually too elaborate for the game's chosen camera. So you play shifting world with this, this really tight camera angle. In fact, you can't see much of the level at all, so you depend on the arrows and the map on the bottom screen. And in theory, that sounds great. In practice, it just makes things more problematic. The map is way too small to decipher, so you only have this vague direction of where to go. North, south, east, west, perhaps the nearest ledge. The game's controls are kind of stiff too. There are many times you just you try to jump over the spikes only to plummet to your death, despite pushing the jump button as you would in any other platformer, but Shifting World doesn't work like any other platformer. This is a game that offers a very specific kind of disappointment. You'd think an awesome idea would translate into an awesome game, but sadly, it's not so black and white. <laughs> 